Some crops are very good battlers. They have the ability to really pull water. And when we look at ag crops, the uh, crop that immediately comes to mind that has tremendous root suction are sunflowers. Sunflowers are one of the strongest plants there are for being able to suck moisture from the ground and bring it up into their, into their body cavity. And they can pull to the tune of about 40 atmospheres of pressure. Now an atmosphere or somewhere, uh, soil scientists like to use the word bar and just so we're all on the same page, one atmosphere is equal to 14.7 psi. One bar is equal to 14.5 psi. And we have a plant that can pull 40 bars, like a sunflower, before it goes into permanent wilt. 40 times 14.5 psi. Boy, you wouldn't want to get tangled up with a root of that, would you? Suck the insides right out of you. That little root come on there and just, right, well, of course, we're talking about a very teeny tiny pinpoint out there in the soil that that's happening. But when it attacks that drop of water and that root here is right by that drop of water and it wants it, it starts pulling on it. And its root suction has that kind of pulling capabilities to draw that water away from that colloid that's trying to hold on to it. So, boy, we got some plants that are really good at that. And they'll really suck the water out of the ground. Then we got plants that are totally on the opposite spectrum. Our good friend, the potato. He's about the weeniest guy out there. He can pull about two atmospheres, or two bars. That's all he can pull till he goes into wilt. So he doesn't have much ability to suck water out of there at all. So we have to keep that soil moisture level way up there, near field capacity all the time, if we're going to grow a decent crop of potatoes. The minute you stress a potato, then you goof up its growth cycle. Number one, it's not going to get very big, so you lose size. Number two, it's going to grow odd shaped. You end up getting knobs on it or small and large points in the tuber because a potato grow, elongates as it grows and when you put stress on it, what it'll do is it starts to shut down, so it'll narrow down. And then when it starts growing fast again, then it'll expand again, so you get an irregular shaped tuber. Well, the processors, they take that one for free. They don't pay you for that odd shaped one. They only pay you for the number ones and the number twos. Anything less grade than that, anything that has an odd shape to it, is a cull. And so you donated that to the, to the cause because they won't pay you for the culls. They'll only pay you for the things that grade out one and two. Because when they go to sell that potato, whether they're making a french fry out of it or whether they're selling it as a fresh pack, they need to have the right size so that they get the right length and quality of french fry or the right look. You know, you got to sell that sex appeal out there on the shelf when you're buying fresh pack, it has to look just like the ideal potato. Now they all may taste the same, but if it looks irregular, people don't want to buy it. You know, it's like a ugly, no good, nothing. Well, what do they do with all those extra potatoes? You know, they make things like potato flakes so that you can make your instant mashed potatoes. And they'll make the hash browns down here at the fast food places or the tater tots that you buy in the grocery store. They make processed potato products out of them. They don't throw them away, but they're not going to they're not going to pay you for them. And then of course all of the residual stuff they take and sell to the feed lots and feed the the peels and the cut ends and so on and so forth that come off of the of making all these products. So they're using everything they get, but they just don't pay you for it. 
So the trick is to keep that water right in that ideal range between field capacity and the bottom edge of that readily available moisture. And potatoes have a smaller window. Most crops in that available moisture range can go down halfway. They can use up half the available moisture and still not put it into any kind of stress at all. Potatoes, you can only go a quarter of the way down that range before it starts stressing the plant to where it's going to make it grow oddly. And there are just a handful of other vegetables that are somewhat a, a little bit suspect that way as well. The onions, you don't want to stress them because you're going to end up with irregular growth in those as well. Or carrots, any of the tubers are real susceptible to that. 